This is what happened when Yugoslavia broke apart a quarter century ago and its southernmost state claimed independence as the Republic of Macedonia. A million people gathered in Thessaloniki, the capital of the Greek region of Macedonia, outraged that a non-Greek nation should lay claim to ancient Greek heritage. That is still the dominant view here today. They're trying to inherit all of Macedonia and Alexander the Great. This is a farce. It's all happening because the Americans want them in NATO. Early attempts at compromise came to nothing. The government in the former Yugoslav Macedonian capital Skopje refused to relinquish the term Macedonia and Greece rejected the use of even a composite name that included it, such as Northern or Slav Macedonia. A hundred countries recognized the new state, including many NATO and EU countries concerned for its stability and survival. But Greece has cited its own security concerns as a vital part of any agreement. The government in Skopje would be called upon to remove articles in its constitution that Greece says imply claims on its territory. Article 49 talks about protecting Macedonian minorities in neighboring countries. Article 3 leaves open the possibility of changing the country's borders. In 2008, the Greeks vetoed former Yugoslav Macedonia's entry into NATO. Undeterred, the government in Skopje erected statues to ancient King Alexander the Great and his parents. But now there's a more moderate government in Skopje willing to compromise over the name. And Greece's official position has changed to accept a composite name that includes the word Macedonia. But as far as Greeks are concerned, these are legal niceties that skirt the real issue, which is national identity. Names symbolize something. If I come to your house and we say we're going to have the same surname, that means we have the same father and the same rights. This is nonsense and we're not obliged to deal with it. Professor Thanos Dokos agrees that a nation comprised principally of Slavs has no historic claim, but says charity is in the Greek interest. We don't like them being called, calling themselves Macedonians, but uh, what else can they call themselves? I mean, they need an identity. Can we convince our Macedonians, our public opinion, that you know, giving them a bit of uh, identity from our ancient, uh, long history, will not hurt Greece's interest. The talks that reopened last month are over the country's name and do not address identity or ethnicity. But as both peoples see the two issues as interlinked, reaching an agreement they will accept appears a difficult task. John Saropoulos, Al Jazeera, Athens.